Maya Bay Cruz. Uh, the, the National Park, they, they just cover the area of Maya Bay for coral preservation or they save it for the coral recuperating. Okay. They, they do like this every year round. So they start from next month. Hi everyone, so today's itinerary is very clear. We are going to be visiting Fifi Islands and we're all set. We have been given a few briefings about how we must uh, be prepared for uh, the, uh, the trip on the boat. We had a light breakfast as well. So let's just view it and enjoy the beautiful Fifi Island, which is the highlight of this trip. After having a quick breakfast, we are all walking to the Chalong Pier for boarding our um, boat on which we had a group tour uh, departuring to uh, Kai Island for enjoying a private swimming session. option to have um, the seasickness tablets so that you don't feel uh, nauseous while uh, on the boat ride so we did have uh, one of them to ensure we were all fine during the trip All of the passengers were given life jackets even while uh, just sitting on the boat to ensure that uh, there are no hazards and uh, all of a sudden the boat started going so fast and we thoroughly enjoyed the ride. After a few minutes into the sea, we started viewing the beautiful cliffs of Thailand and it was so beautiful to see in real life. These were the number of people who were inside the boat and all ready and waiting for swimming and uh, here is Shwe and Sriram who showed us that no matter how bumpy the ride is, you ought to sleep if you have to. This guy of peace day. Our first photo point was Maya Bay. Maya Bay is a stunningly beautiful bay that's sheltered by 100 meter high cliffs on three sides. You can enjoy several beaches here. Most are small and some only exist at low tide. However, the time that we went, Maya Bay was closed for uh, the ecological recovery of the seabed and reef. During the closure, the boats may enter the bay for you to take in the beautiful scenery but are forbidden to park near the beach.
Our next spot was Pile Bay, which is one of the most impressive sites in Fifi Island. Here, I had my first experience of snorkeling. And what a way to start. Look at the clear water and the color was so impressive. At a length of 600 meters, Thin Bay offers great snorkeling opportunities. Framed by 100 meter tall limestone cliffs, it's in shade most of the time, except between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. The best time to photograph the outstanding beauty of its emerald green water. At some spots around Philae Bay, it seems like that water is lit from the seabed, making it a spectacular sight to see. The western side of Pile Bay features a small beach at the foot of the cliff but most of the boats stay here in the center of the lagoon while their guests go swimming and snorkeling and it was one amazing experience for all of us. Don't take it off, you see? It's the breathing tube. Don't take it off, you don't use it, just leave it like this. Tube how long? Hmm? Tube how long? Ah, you see? Put it into your mouth, bite, bite and use your lip, cover it. For breathing. And it should be around like this, 90 degrees. 90 degrees from the sea surface. Do you understand? But if you, if it's quite to the front, if the wave comes, water get in, you bring water. Also, if you fight to the back, water get in and you bring water. And you see, you see it's shape. Two eyes, one nose. It means cover your eyes and your nose. And you see the wrapper. The wrapper should be above your, your ear. Like this. And it's it's so, only one thing remember breathe by your mouth breathe by your mouth if the water get in go out go out go out this side water get in go out okay 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 no Viking chip of uh, the name Viking camp has come to their place. Viking camp. Viking camp. Viking camp. Viking camp. Yeah, people who stay here, they collect the, the bird nest of swim or swallow for sale. So, uh, there are, actually there are many, there, there are many bird nest camps like this around the Andaman Sea. And uh, the, the bird nest by the sea like this, it has white, white colors. Yeah, yeah, it's good quality. But uh, nowadays we visit the birthdays like this on the mainland. Like uh, so you get into the old building and then we get the men. Like, here has good quality. And we export the exporting route to China, to Korea, to Japan. The Viking cave owes its name to the beautiful paintings found on the eastern and southern walls of the cave. They represent various types of boats including water symbols as Scandinavian drakkar, which is a Viking ship. These paintings were possibly made by sailors taking shelter in the cave during a storm. Post that, we stopped by at Fifi Dawn Island uh, for a quick lunch.
from what we have seen on vlogs. The food safe and everything is not that very uh, clean or it is not very good. But uh, this one is really nice and they had a decent spread as well. And uh, if you need veg specifically, they give veg options as well. So yeah. And they had halal food options too. After grabbing lunch, we had some time to spend near the beautiful beach and click some amazing pictures as well. And that's when it started to drizzle, so the weather was so beautiful. Then we visited the monkey beach. Um, the forested cliff is the habitat of monkeys, which is where the beach got its name from. Monkey beach is often confused with Monkey Bay, a similar spot located on the other side of Fifi Don Island, around the entrance of Low Dalung. Uh -huh. <laughs> then it was again time for a snorkeling session and it was such an amazing spot for snorkeling we thoroughly enjoyed though we couldn't take footages underwater here is what it would feel like uh, and similar to what we saw under uh, the water just put this up for you to have uh, an understanding of what i'm talking about it's crazy really you have to experience it live How was it, Sanju? It was amazing. I loved it. We tried snorkeling. We dived into the ocean between those beautiful mountains. It was so beautiful. We couldn't capture so much on camera. You must come here and experience it yourself. I think these people here who have arranged the tours, I will mention the details on the description. They are crazy because we did look at a lot of vlogs and none of them were at the standard. And I really, 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 really recommend these people. So whenever you are in Phuket, please get in touch with them and they are giving this half the price. I am not uh, kidding. Half the price of what uh, the market standards are and they are the top class. Glad uh, you could come with us and enjoy it. If you liked it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Tomorrow we are going with them for the James Bond tour as well. So I am sure you will enjoy that too. After that beautiful day, during the night, we went for the Simon Cabaret, which is world famous, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. Phuket Simon Cabaret is a theatre offering an evening of live music, dance, and comedy performances by a troupe of transgender entertainers. Founded in 1991, it's a spectacular display of color, originality and fun with a single show combining a wide range of music from cultures around the world.
before and after that spectacular show the artists stand outside for taking pictures with the people who wish to while they might look very welcoming please be mindful that all the pictures come with a cost All of them looked stunning and absolutely on point. Their makeup was world class and how gorgeous they were. I was astonished. After that we had Thailand's famous banana nutella crepe which was a suggestion given by one of our friends and we totally loved it. With that we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more such content. And until I see you next time, take care and bye bye. Awesome. Hey,